And we are following breaking news of a fire that spread to a brewery and a pub. This is in South Park. News H Chris Grow is live along 30th Street between Cedar and Beach. Good morning to you, Chris. Uh, one of those locations has been around in San Diego a long time. Yeah, it's actually Hamilton's. Let me show you right here what we're looking at. This is South Park Brewing, and then just over here to the left, this is Hamilton's Tavern and Cafe. Sister locations, essentially, both working hand-in-hand, hand, uh, really, in the short time uh, that both locations have been here. But Hamilton's been here for 75 years. It used to be called Sparky's. It's on its website advertised as the oldest uh, licensed restaurant to serve beer and wine uh, at the same time. So a pretty historic uh, location here in the South Park neighborhood. Now, you see the firefighters also here uh, just at the location, uh, excuse me, at the doors of both locations. They had to use a lot of heavy machinery to get in. Trying to get in at 530 this morning proved to be very difficult for them. Take a listen. There was no staff here when we arrived. All the doors were locked. We had to force entry through multiple doors and, and gain entry to multiple businesses. And we had heavy smoke and fire conditions. And so real quick, guys, what, what fire is telling us right now is it's not a lot of information, but it's what we're working with right now. They got the call around 530 this morning. They showed up to both locations. They believe the fire started in the kitchen. Uh, now, because of the heavy smoke damage, uh, as you can see right uh, in these live pictures, we'll, we'll just come back out here live. Uh, if all these doors are locked, all of these windows are closed, that smoke is staying inside. And so that's why as part of fire rescues plan here, they also not only had to cut open those doors, but then had to get on top of that building, had to go ahead and cut uh, holes there on top of that building to get that smoke out. But unfortunately, there's a lot of heavy fire damage, a lot of heavy smoke damage to both locations, uh, and they are still trying to assess everything. Now, what's, what's really sad about all of this is that this is a neighborhood location. A lot of employees, have shown up that work at both locations. They've worked here for years. This is obviously a very tough time for restaurants and bars uh, during this pandemic. And now you throw in this fire. I can't even begin to imagine what the people who work at both locations, who own both locations are going through right now. Uh, but we're hoping uh, for the best, obviously, right now, very early on. We know that Metro Arson is here on scene as well, too. That is normal procedure. Uh, for fire, uh, the fire rescue team, that whenever you have a commercial building fire like this, Metro Arson does come out. That does not mean one thing or another. They obviously are going to make sure that they are doing their best and most thorough investigation into what potentially happened here today. Eric